Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. After the 8B teaser that we got yesterday, we're going to talk about another major discussion topic after that teaser, which is Dwight going back to the Sanctuary. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today, this one's going to be doing another video for Fear of the Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing another discussion topic video after all of that crazy 8B promotion that we got yesterday for Fear of the Walking Dead. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to go ahead and do an individual video on this one where we go in depth and we talk about uh, the major, major scene in the trailer for 8B, um, which is, of course, one of the main ones that we did talk about yesterday is the return of Troy, seeming like it's it's very, very likely uh, that we're going to be seeing that, but um, I would say that the second biggest topic about this new teaser that we did get is that Dwight is returning to the sanctuary. So we're going to go through a little bit of plots and uh, what we think is going to go on there because that is just such a surprise to me. That is such a shocking um, reveal that uh, Dwight is going to be going back to the sanctuary in the final episodes of the show. Now, in episode six, in the mid-season finale after they lost Finch, um, you know, Dwight and Sherry kind of broke it off, which I don't think is going to last all that long, to be honest. I think they're going to get back together roughly quickly. Um, but um, here's the thing I'll say about it, though, is that that really did break their relationship in a really bad way. And Dwight said that he's going to be going back home. Now, when he said back home, I kind of thought like maybe the old house that he was at or something like that, which is probably still what he meant. But it sounds like for some reason they take a stop at the sanctuary. So... That is going to trigger a whole lot of emotions in both Dwight and Sherry. And Sherry is going with him, which I, I'm kind of surprised about. So that's what I mean by I don't think the relationship is going to be, you know, cut off for too long. I think they'll get back together Um it's just the matter of when, right? But um, I'll say this right now. This is a really, really cool final season for nostalgia. It really is. Like, in the first half, you have Morgan going back to King County. You've got Morgan seeing red. you got Morgan going clear mode. you got Morgan going back to the Eastman location. And now you've got uh, Dwight and Sherry returning to the Sanctuary. Now, I'm pretty sure, and I think this is a, a pretty obvious one, that they're not going to bring the full Sanctuary set back because I'm pretty sure that's been torn down a long time ago. Um... But still, even if, um, you know, maybe even if it's it's not up yet, maybe they could at least still, you know, do like the hallways and maybe like uh, another entrance of the sanctuary or something that they could remake for, for fear. Um, because, uh, yeah, they're definitely not going to be able to get the full sanctuary set back. I would be very surprised if they did that. Um, although I would love it. That would be phenomenal. Um and the craziest part about that whole thing is, is that technically Negan a few years ago visited that old abandoned spot himself, right? So now Dwight and Sherry are going to go back just a couple years later. Um which is really, really uh, amazing. So yeah, I love that. I love that Negan returned to the sanctuary and now Dwight and Sherry are going to get to do the same thing. Um, maybe they're even going to see like some of the chairs that are like weirdly placed in the middle that Negan did the last time he was there or something. Maybe like they could mention that. Um, that would be kind of cool, but uh, I don't know. I, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Maybe we won't even see all that. Maybe we'll just see a couple hallways and like that's it, you know, on their way there. But it does seem like we're at least going to get a decent enough visualizer of the sanctuary again. And I think that's so amazing. I mean, I think that is so amazing that they're doing that for him. Um, and yeah, that is going to be absolutely incredible. So let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of Dwight's story and him going uh, back home. And biggest thing, of course, that we can now kind of predict is um, now that he's going back home, is this going to be the wrap-up of Dwight's character in the Walking Dead franchise, right? Now, um, I don't think it is. I, I still don't think it is. I think they're going to have Dwight go to one of these spinoffs. Now, Sherry, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little scared for her safety. I feel like there could be a scenario in this second half where she could die, which we'll discuss more in an actual Death Predictions video because I do want to do that. But in terms of Dwight... Man, no, I don't. I think either he's going to lose Sherry and then he's going to go to a spinoff or they're just both going to go to a spinoff together, you know, um, because I still feel like Dwight has a lot more to serve this franchise. I still feel like Dwight has a lot more to do. And I feel like, um, I don't know. I just, I can't see this being the end of Dwight. I feel like he's got to go to another spinoff. Same thing with Morgan, you know, like Morgan saying that he's going to go and, you know, find Rick. Maybe Dwight says like he's going to go and find Negan and end him for good. I mean, that's, that's definitely possible. Um, 
you know, Negan is out there on the road now. He's not at Alexandria locked up in a cell. So that definitely is something that Dwight could attempt. Uh, maybe if he found some sort of evidence that Negan was around. Um, but yeah, you know, this episode in terms of this uh, this kind of plot for this final season, I think is going to be really interesting. I love the fact that we're going back to these old locations. It's something that the, I wish the main Walking Dead would have done in this final season. I feel like it's something that we didn't get enough of in the main Walking Dead. And it's something that Fear actually is doing very, very good at. Uh, the nostalgia. Nostalgia, the 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 old locations, rebuilding them just for one episode, even you know, I think it's very very well executed so far in terms of nostalgia. Um, and I really really enjoy. It. And I think even too, there's like a clip in the trailer where Dwight's looking at like the old iron thing that they're like burning. So maybe they burn the sanctuary down. You know, maybe that's like their final fuck you to Negan. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be really cool. But um, we'll have to see what they do. Either way, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see them go back to the Sanctuary. And I think that's going to be a phenomenal plot for the final season. So let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the uh, Dwight returning back to the Sanctuary plot? And what do you think of uh, just the nostalgia in general in this final season of Fear? Do you think they're nailing it as much as I think they are? Because I think they're doing a phenomenal job so far on, you know, really capping off some of these characters and, uh, you know, going back to some of these old locations, I think that's easily the best thing about this final season is the way that they're, you know, uh, going about old locations, old memories, and um, using it for new scenes. I think they're doing a really good job. So, anyway, if you knew the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.